section, we are going to balance a complex redox equation. Now, complex simply means it's more difficult to balance when you have an element on more than one place in either side of the equation. We have this in both oxygen and hydrogen. So it takes it's a little more difficult to balance by inspection. We're going to balance it by half reactions. And the first thing we're going to do is to write all the species that exist here. Uh, when you put this in solution, you have hydrogen ions. This is nitric acid, nitric acid, strong acid completely ionizes into hydrogen ions and nitrate ions. And the hydrochloric acid completely ionizes the strong acid into hydrogen ions and chloride ions. And we also get molecules, they are one species by themselves, chlorine, diatomic, gas, and water. Now this mixture was has been known as far back as, as the 8th century in alchemy. Uh, 13th century European alchemist uh, referred to this. This was called aqua regia, royal water. And it was called aqua regia, royal water, because it could, this mixture of three part hydrochloric could dissolve gold, aqua regia. But it's, it's unstable. When you make it, put it together, it starts breaking down right away and forms this, these three products. And it goes from clear to a reddish color very quickly. Very strong mixture. Well, to describe this thing and balance it, first thing we're going to have to do is assign oxidation numbers. So we will do this rapidly, plus one hydrogen. Now notice the nitrate, polyatomic. Oxygen we know is minus two, more electronegative. Nitrogen is plus five. Here hydrogen's plus one, chloride's minus one, oxygen's minus two. Look at this, nitrogen is plus two. It has changed from a plus five to a plus two. Chlorine is zero, an element, and water. We're going to write the half reactions first. The chloride ion has gone from a minus one oxidation number to a zero. And we have to balance the atoms. We're going to put two here. And notice we have two atoms with an excess of one electron becoming zero. So each one essentially undergoes oxidation loses two electrons. The nitrate caused the oxidation. The nitrate ion, one minus, oxidation number plus five here, is going to nitrogen monoxide, plus two. How does that happen? Well, it has to, it's deficient five electrons on the left, only deficient two in the right, so it gained three electrons. And we have a couple problems. First of all, we have three oxygens on the left and one on the right. When that's true, uh, and notice up in the equation, we have water. So we can add water to this half reaction. Two units or two moles or two molecules, depending on what level you're working. That gives us two and one, three. Four hydrogen ions because we have an acidic medium. So we got the atoms balanced, but we don't have the electrons. If we multiply this top by three and the bottom equation by two, we will balance the electrons. Now let's put the whole thing together, add these equations up. Four times two is eight hydrogen ions and six electrons, two nitrate, Three times two, six chloride ions. See what we're doing is we're just adding them up. On the right side, three diatomic chlorine. There's our six electrons in the right. Two nitrogen monoxide. And two times two, four water. Now, 
since we balance the electrons and their reactions associated, we should have the coefficients for this equation. And all we have to do is go back here and put them in. Now notice eight hydrogen ions, so I'm not going to act on that right away because they're in two places. But the nitrate is only one, so I'm going to put the two there for the nitrate. And that gives me two hydrogen. Put the six there for the chlorine. Six and two gives me the eight hydrogen. On the right side, we have three, and we have two for the nitrogen monoxide, and the four, water. So when we put this, look at this whole reaction, we can see this strange coefficients of two, six, two, three, four come out perfectly. If you want to review redox, I would go back to the first couple sessions here, but this is what we did. We successfully balanced a complex redox equation. We'll stop there.